Well guys, if you want to undervolt your RTX 4050 laptop to get more performance, lower temperature, and more importantly, more stable gameplay, and also make your laptop draw less, this is the right video for you. Now, this is going to work for every single brand out there. So now we're using an MSI laptop, but even if you have an Asus, Gigabyte, or literally any kind of laptop out there with a 4050, doesn't matter which CPU you have, this is going to work for you. Now, we're going to use two pieces of software, Heaven Benchmark and MSI Afterburner, and both of them will be linked down below in the description. Now, before we start, basically on the channel, I'm trying to cover every single CPU and GPU out there from all brands, Nvidia, AMD, and Intel. So in case you wanna undervolt or overclock a different piece of hardware, please take a look on the channel. I may have what you need. And the only thing I ask you is if the video ends up being helpful, you will drop a like and a sub in the end. Okay, so with that said, let's go straight ahead. So here we are. In the laptop and now we want to start having benchmark right here make sure you uncheck the full screen option and run it then we want to press the windows button and open up afterburner of course assuming you have it installed already so at this point you want to go into settings and unlock the voltage control voltage monitoring right here then hit apply hit ok now, you can undervolt depending on what you want to achieve specifically, okay? So here we have a 4050 laptop, and I will give you two presets, and then if you stay until the end, I will also tell you how you can do it for yourself. So my first preset is going to be as follows. So you want to click on Curve Editor right here, bring the curve up. Then you want to go into the Core Clock and give it minus 350 right there, okay? You want to go ahead and grab the 800 millivolt voltage point and bring it all the way up to 2100 megahertz. Again, this is pretty aggressive. It doesn't have to be 2100 exactly. It can be 2090, for example. Okay, and uh, this is what you want to basically play with later on. Now you want to hold shift and left click on the void from the point you raised and select all the points to the right and just bring them all down to flatten them. And at this point, you hit apply. And now your curve is done right here so as you can see we are now running stable at the 800 millivolt 2100 megahertz point so at this point you can just save this one into the profile you want and then this is not undervolting but it's free performance you can give it plus 300 on the memory hit apply and save it and at this point we're basically done so if you want to just copy a preset you can close the video now drop a like and a sub and i hope it was helpful uh, but if you want to stay, I have a different preset, which is going to be a little bit more energy efficient because th this is the most high performance one. So if you want to save a bit more power and uh, compromising very little in performance, you can do the second one. So the second one is going to be as follows. So we can still give it minus 350 right here. Then we want to go ahead and this time select the 775 millivolt voltage point. And now this time, though, we want to bring it all the way up to 2000. So right there, 2000. Again, it can be a bit more, it can be a bit less, doesn't matter. And then we do the same. So we hold shift, left click, the left side of the curve, and flatten it out, just like this, as you can see. And we're now running at exactly 2000 megahertz, well, like 20 megahertz less, but it doesn't really matter. And we're running at the voltage we want. Again, we can give it plus 300 for a bit of extra free performance and then save it. Now, if you want to have the profile always active, you want to click here. So it starts with Windows. Go into Settings and check the Start with Windows, Start Minimize icon, hit Apply, hit OK, and we are basically done. Now, in case you want to, you want to stay still, um, I'm going to give you a bit of extra tips. So the higher the megahertz, the more the performance. However, to get a certain megahertz stable, you need a certain amount of voltage. So if my presets are not working for you, you might be a bit unlucky. You just need to give it a bit more voltage. So for example, if 2100 is not stable, you may just want to give it 825 and it's going to be stable. And the same if the second preset with 2000 MHz, 775 is not stable, it's going to be stable 100% with 800, okay? Of course, you need to test this out for yourself. And in this way, you can also aim for a bit higher frequency if you have a bigger laptop because you always want to take a look at the starting frequency. So in my case, right now at stock, starting frequency on average is 2100. So what I did is I kept the 2100, but I kept it stable because as you can see, it drops normally. So I locked it stable with less voltage. So I get more performance on average. But if your frequency is higher, you may want to do the same with a higher frequency a little bit. 
this is a bit more complicated. For most of you, I recommend just copying my settings and adjusting a little bit the voltage accordingly. So this is really it this time. I hope to see you guys again in another video. And uh, again, drop a like and sub if it was helpful. And maybe check out my videos. Bye bye.